Hello, good afternoon students of class 5. Today we will start our first online class of English literature. And the first chapter is The Selfish Giant. It's a story about a giant, a selfish giant. So let's begin our chapter. Every afternoon as they were coming from school, the children used to go and play in the giant's garden. So there were students like you all. So after coming back from school, these students used to go and play in a giant's garden. A giant has a very beautiful garden. It was a lovely, large, lovely garden with soft green grass. Here and there over the grass stood beautiful flowers like stars and there were 12 peach trees that in the springtime broke out into delicate blossom of pink and pearl. And in the autumn bore rich fruits. The birds sat on the trees and sang so sweetly that the children used to stop their games in order to listen to them. How happy we are here! The children cried to each other. So, the giant has a very, very beautiful garden, lovely, beautiful garden with uh, soft green grasses. There were 12 peach trees and uh, the grasses, green grass. There was very beautiful flowers. And uh, whenever the spring times come, these flowers, uh, these uh, delicate blossoms turns into flower. And the trees, they used to bore rich fruits. And the birds used to sat on those trees and sang sweetly. And all the children used to feel very, very happy. And they used to listen to their uh, birds' songs. And they used to play over there. And children, they cried to each other, how happy we are here, how happy. They felt very, very happy over there. One day, the giant came back. He had been to visit his friend the Cornish Org and had stayed with him for over seven years. After the seven years were over, he had said all that he had to say, for his conversation was limited and he determined to return to his own castle. When he arrived, he saw the children playing in the garden. So children used to play in giant's garden in his absence because giant was not there in his castle. Castle means a big um, uh, house or uh, kingdom like. So giant was not there. He went to visit his friend. So in his absence, children used to play in his garden. And uh, after seven years, the giant decided to return back to his castle. So whenever when he returned to his castle, he found that children were playing in his garden. He saw that. What are you doing here? He cried in a very gruff voice and the children ran away. He was so angry. He asked the children, what are you doing here? In a very gruff voice, in a very loud voice, in a very dangerous voice. Then the, all the children ran away. My own garden is my own garden said the giant. Anyone can understand that and I will allow nobody to play in it but myself. So he built a high wall all around it and put up a notice board. So the giant, the giants became very very angry when he saw the children playing over there. He said that no one is allowed to play in my garden. This is my garden. Only I can play in this garden. So he built a very high wall around the garden and put a notice board. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Whoever enter in this garden, he or she will be punished. So, Jain got angry and he made a high wall around the garden and put a notice board also. He was a very selfish giant. The poor children had now nowhere to play. They tried to play on the road, but the road was very dusty and full of hard stone and they did not like it. They used to wander around the high wall when their lessons were over and talk about the beautiful garden inside. How happy we were there, they said to each other. So, the children now giants have made a high wall around the garden so the children do not have any place to play whenever they try to play in the road 
the road was dusty full of hard stone and they were not liking that they used to wander around the high world they used to roam around the high world and whenever their lessons got over whenever uh, their lessons um, whenever they used to have holiday from school so after school and they were talking like this was a very beautiful garden how happy we were there whenever we used to play there we were very very happy they used to say to each other children were sad that time because of the high wall which the giant has made then the spring came and all over the country there were little blossom and little bird only in the garden of the selfish giant it was still winter the birds did not care to sing in it as there were no children and the trees forgot to blossom once uh, when we started this story we said that there was soft green grasses and the blossom the um, the flowers were very beautiful and the trees they used to bore high rich uh, fruits and all so everything happens during the spring season so uh, whenever the spring came after the giants returned to that castle to that garden whenever the spring came all over the country there were little blossom and little birds only the giants garden was empty there was still winter the birds did not care to sing the birds did not uh, sang in his garden and because there was no children and the trees forgot to blossom the trees was as usual no flowers were there no fruits were there once a beautiful flower put its head out from the grass but when it saw the notice board it was so sorry for the children that it slipped back into the ground again and went off to sleep so in giant's garden there was winter only nothing was there no beautiful flowers no fruits no birds nothing is there once a small flower put its head up from the grass but whenever she saw that uh, boat the trace passes will be prosecuted whenever she saw that boat she became very sad and then again went off to sleep the only people who were pleased were the snow and the frost the garden was now full of snow and the frost spring has forgotten this garden spring season spring means spring season has forgotten this garden they cried so we will live here all the year round now spring is not there so snow and frost was there all over the garden and they were saying we will live here all year the round every year only we will live over here the snow covered up the grass with her great white clock and the frost painted all the trees silver then they invited the north wind to stay with them and he came the north wind the very uh, windy the, the air was very windy and he uh, the north wind came over there to sit with them he was wrapped in furs and he rode all day about the garden and blew the chimney pots down the air was very full of um, uh, speed This is a delightful spot he said we must ask the hell on a visit so the hell came every day for 3 hours he rattled on the roof of the castle till he broke most of the slates and then he ran round and round the garden as fast as he could go he was dressed in gray and his breath was like ice no because there was only winter and we know that winter season in winter season everything was very cold um, we did not like winter right so similarly in this garden only winter season was there the snow was there snowfall and the hail storm and the um, windy hair air everything was there except the spring season except the flowers the fruits children the birds okay I can understand why the spring is so late in coming," said the selfish giant as he sat at the window and looked out at his cold white garden. "I hope there will be change in the weather." He was saying that he did not understand why the spring came so late. Everywhere it's a flowery flower, everywhere fruits are there, birds are singing, but his garden is empty. Only in his garden there was only winter. So. the selfish giant was saying he just looked out of his window and look at his garden the white cold garden and say i hope there will be a change in the weather he was hoping for the change in the winter he wanted to have spring over there also 
But the spring never came, nor the summer. The autumn gave golden fruit to every garden, but to the giant's garden she gave none. He is too selfish, she said. So it was always winter there, and the north wind and the hail and the frost and the snow danced about through the tree. So in his garden there was neither the summer came nor the spring. Autumn also gave beautiful golden fruits to every other gardens, but not to his garden. He the, these uh, seasons, these autumn seasons, used to say that he is too selfish. This garden is too selfish. She said. So there was only three season. That is winter. Only one season. That is winter only. And the north wind and the hail and the frost and the snow. Every time, only these things used to dance around the garden. So we'll stop till here. You all of you, please go to the go through your book, or you can read from here also. Uh, the selfish giant. Okay.